Hi, I'm Ed China, and what car have asked me to talk to you about vans? Why? Well, as an engineer, inventor and mechanic, I've often have to haul around all kinds of stuff around the country, so therefore I've owned a fair few vans in my time, and that means I know what makes a good one. Besides, I once turned a long wheelbase chassis cab into a desert island, and that's kind of remotely relevant. So grab yourself a vegan egg and bacon sami and a nice mug of bovril, and let us guide you through the world of commercial vehicles, showing you which are the best, and which are about as appealing as a petrol station pasty. And to make sure that you don't miss an episode, click subscribe below. While you're here, please remember that you can lease or buy your next van through What Car by following the links. Ever since the first generation was launched in 1965, the Ford Transit has been the van that got Britain's tradespeople moving. The first model's wide track meant it could carry much more than other vans, and it was much more car-like to drive than any of its rivals. It even looked good with transatlantic styling that was way cooler than its dowdy rivals. Through successive generations, the Transit has become synonymous with both medium and large size vans in the UK, so much so that many people now think of a van of this size as just being a Transit. So 55 years after the first model was released, this new model is actually Britain's best-selling van. So let's find out why. Okay, so now we're alone, I could actually admit that this Transit is no longer technically a Transit. It's a Transit Custom. That's what the one-ton version of the Transit has been known ever since Ford split the range in two back in 2012. Obviously, the two-ton version now being known as the Transit. Now, whatever you want to carry in your Transit Custom should fit in because it has one of the largest volumes for a mid-size van on the market. The short wheelbase standard roof model has six cubic metres and the long wheelbase high roof has 8.3 cubic metres. Its load carrying capacity is also amongst the best in class thanks to a gross vehicle weight range of between 2.6 and 3.4 tonnes and its maximum payload, depending on the length and the height of your van, is as much as 1,459 kilograms. The Transit Customs' large potential operating weight also means that its payload is significantly more than its rivals. It can carry 230 kilograms more than the Volkswagen Transporter and 180 kilograms more than the Mercedes Vito, and that's largely because both of these competitors are only available as 3.2 ton vans, whereas the Transit Custom goes up to 3.4 tons. Maximum load length is 2.5 meters for the short wheelbase version and 2.9 meters for the long wheelbase. Standard height vans are 1.4 metres tall and there's an additional 370 millimetres in high roof models. Load width is 1775 millimetres with 1350 between the wheel arches. A single side opening door comes as standard with an opening of just over a metre and a second door on the driver's side is also available as an option. The rear doors can be locked in a 90 degree position but actually can open up to 180 degrees. And if it's people rather than stuff that you need to move, there are combi minibus versions capable of carrying up to nine passengers and double cab vans with a second row of seats. For the ultimate in people moving, there's also the Transit Custom Tourneo, a premium nine seat minibus. It's rather a nice place to be inside here. And while the plastics of the Transit Custom aren't quite up to those in the Volkswagen Transporter, they all feel nice and robust. And while it isn't quite as neatly designed as the Transporter, all the controls are still pretty easy to use and within reach. It comes with your choice of four different versions of Ford's 2.0-litre diesel engine. This 182 brake horsepower version is great if you want masses of pulling power. But there's also 104, 128 and 167 BHP models, and they're all good. All four engines offer plenty of torque across a wide spread of revs. So whichever one you go for, the Transit Custom is a pleasurable van to drive both around town and on motorways. The Custom is also the best handling mid-size van with nice weighty steering with loads of feedback without being tiresome to drive. The six-speed manual gearbox has got a nice sharp action and is definitely preferable to the six-speed select shift automatic gearbox that is available on the two higher power options. I wouldn't bother with the base model because it's pretty sparsely equipped. Instead, aim for the trend, which gets you body-coloured bumpers, LED running lights, a DAB radio, cruise control and parking sensors. Limited is the next model up, and it adds air conditioning, alloy wheels, while the top-of-the-range Sport, like this one, comes exclusively with the 182 BHP engine and adds the body kit and stripes. Sport models, as well as the plush Limited version, also get this tablet-like 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system as standard. 
It isn't the best system of its kind, but it is a welcome upgrade from the 4.3 inch screen you get as standard on trend models, or the standard AM FM radio found on base vans. It also supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so you can use your smartphone via the screen. Thanks to a combination of reach and rake on the steering, but also a really adjustable seat, it should be possible for people of all shapes and sizes to find a comfortable driving position in the Transit Custom, including yours truly. And it's not just spacious for its occupants. The Custom has loads of places to stash things away, including compartments along the top of the dash, and split-level door bins that allow you to store more of your smaller odds and ends discreetly. According to the official figures, the 104 BHP van returns a claimed 45.6 miles to the gallon, while the top of the range 182 BHP version will still return 44.8 miles per gallon. For the best fuel economy though, you'll want to opt for the new HMEV, or mild hybrid, which in most frugal vans has a claimed economy of 50.4 miles per gallon. Now I'd always go for the most power, but I think the sensible option is to go for the 128 brake horsepower version because that gives you the best compromise between performance and economy and allows you the choice of all the trim levels except for sport. Safety features include forward collision prevention and a rear blind spot assistance system called Cross Traffic Assist. It uses the rear parking sensors to scan the roads to the sides of the vehicle while you back out of a parking space or driveway. It's a simple but brilliant system that's really useful in a van and one I'd thoroughly recommend. The Transit Custom can trace its lineage back through a whole line of great vans and happily it lives up to the reputation that the Transit name has built up over those many years. It's great to drive, has plenty of nifty safety features and as long as you avoid that entry level version it has plenty of equipment too and all of that adds up to four very coveted Watt car stars and also that means of course it also gets the Ed Factor. If you want to see more of me talking about vans, then do click subscribe and we'll bring you more van reviews like this one. As a rather lovely added bonus, you'll also get to see all of Watcar's excellent new and used car reviews as they're posted too. See you next time.